Hello, Chief People. I uh, wanted to do this video because I feel like it's going to help out some um, some people, and, and it's a really simple way to do a pool in Chief Architect. And and there's a thread here started by Joe Carrick who's asking about you know what are some of the methods that people are using to do um, pools, and and one of these methods uh, Kbird mes mentioned is he's using uh, concrete foundation walls. Now, I don't need to. Um, show quite the specificity that um, a concrete wall would show but I do like the general method and, and so that's what I use for my own um, for my own methods is that what you're looking at here is a pool that's done um, this pool is just a room so all I'm using are walls that's it I'm just using walls I'm gonna open this up this is a wall so wall that I created, it's a wall type. If I look in the wall type, it's you know it's a pool walls. It's literally just like a fraction of an inch, right? One layer, one main layer, and I have a wall covering as a room designation. But these these walls are creating a room, and so there you go. So if I click on this room, we're gonna see it's an unspecified room. I could specify it as a pool. Um, but what you're going to see here is in the structure, I've got my ceiling set at negative four and a half inches. You know, you, your particular instance may vary. And then floors set at negative 60 inches. And you're going to see here in the designation, you know, I've got a slab. I've got a slab with a downturn edge. Um, but what I also have here is I have a wall covering designation, right? So under wall coverings, I've got this gingham pool wall covering. I've got moldings, one of which is just tubing square pool cove, which is just a radius, a 12 inch radius I made. Um, and that sits as a base molding and then tubing square. And this could, you know, have an intricate molding. It could have a half round and OG style or whatever. This is my cap. You can see this right here at the top of, um, of the ceiling designation for this room. And the tubing square, you're, you notice it's a, quite a large measurement. Now, this is optional. This was my method for doing a really quick and dirty pool that looks good in 3D, does not look good in vector. Um, and I'll show you why. Because when I change to, in this view, when I change to a vector view, you're going to see that that molding is simply like a seven or eight foot wide molding. And that's just so that it creates a plane where I wanted my water coverage to be. And, and this is just for 3D views for me. It, you could alternately do like a polyline, piece solid or something like that. Um, but for the most part, this is all I need to do. The brilliance of this is that if I need to change the shape of this pool, all I need to do is move my wall. Watch what happens in 3D. Bam. Everything stays the same, right? The whole configuration stays the same, but all I did was move a wall. And the other part of this is if you have a symbol, like I've got this ladder here, or if I had some steps or something, you know, look, my wall wants to snap to that symbol. It doesn't want to go past that symbol. So that if I control past that snap, right, and moved my wall in, oh, well, what happened there? I, I lost connection, so it no longer is a room designation. There you go. But look what happened. It moved my symbol with it. So I don't need to move a bunch of cut lines, cutting planes, elevation markers, nothing. Uh, like my walls, because it's a because it is a room, it is automatically clipping the terrain, you know, out of the box where your terrain designation has some clipping involved. All right. So if I was to open this up, uh, hide inter uh, terrain inter intersected by building. So that's checked off by default. So that this room is automatically cutting my terrain. And it's cutting elevation features, etc. So um, it's really a brilliant method. It's it's very versatile. Uh, if I were to go and th let's say we're going to throw a curved wall in here, right? L look at that. It does exactly what you would want it to do. I mean, it's a it's a very versatile, quick way. And, you know, obviously, I have to align my walls. I'd have to change the de designation on that wall to be the t same type as the other ones. But it's a very fast way to make a 
an extremely versatile pool. So I hope that helps someone.